So yeah, inkling, inkling versus uh, Peach, or Daisy rather, excuse me. Uh -huh. Daisy. I love that color too. Yeah, that's a really good one. Like the black on green, ooh. Fan. I'm a fan. She, she looking um, nice. All right, but game one starting. Stole X kind of um, playing a bit patient, playing back. Yes. Not, not really scared to get grab a turn up. Ooh, actually accidentally ran into that. Now, Peach is a weird weight where Inkling's combos with like back air are actually kind of not a thing because of float. Mm -hmm. Where like normally Inkling will go for like back air into like a tech chase. Peach kind of just doesn't have to deal with that. Mm -hmm. As well as being able to float outside of things like roller and grab, it can be very difficult for Inkling to secure a kill onto Peach, whereas Peach has things like Turnip into Fair and things like that mm -hmm. that make it much easier. That said, Inkling's a really hard hit character to hit in general. Yeah, especially with how great the mobility is on the character, the air mobility. But, but like, it's going to be a matter of can he hit the up air, up throw up air. I feel like, I feel like with Ink, I feel like that might be a pretty big window. It's not the hardest window in the game, but again, like it's so hard to actually grab Peach because they're never on the ground. Oh, nice man. little ledge trap there gets both the down smash and the bomb. That was a lot of damage. That that was like 30 damage off that yeah. single that single trans. So uh, much ink on Solex as well. Yeah, that single uh, interaction. That's the word. All right, Solex realizes I cannot get, can't really get hit right here. It's very scary. Ooh, nice bear coming in from uh, Tonic. Right, he's gonna look for the back throw and wait yes. out the spot dodger actually. Mm -hmm. Rolling in, great, it, it perfectly timed the spot dodge too. Yeah, and he's Tonic's doing a good job of just playing so patiently. Doesn't get the near after the up throw. He, it's a thing, but you gotta chase the di. Mm -hmm. Oh, no tech. Unfortunate. Yeah, that d I'm pretty sure he didn't realize he was gonna get the in tech hitbox. Yeah, and you know, that's just kind of, that's something I do as Inkling all the time, where it's like, my recovery is usually so free, I don't like pay attention to like, oh man, I actually have to like deal with something edge guarding me right now. Yeah, it's like, oh. Wait, that, that's new. Can, I have to tech? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I thought I dropped that also, when I picked this character. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's also like, you can get your DI crossed up by the turnip and like think you're going out and you get sent under the stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, oh. Oh, and the grenade just... Bouncing off. Bouncing off her head. Nice parry. Oh. Kind of ran in a little too deep. All right. Let's just finish the rapid jab. It'll work out. Solex trying to find it's spacing out really well. Doesn't really need to uh, respect m much of uh, those hitboxes. And uh, too much aggression coming in from Tonic, and he's going to lose that sock. Oh, he looks for the tech chase with the down smash, but just doesn't time it correctly. So, like, able to get through it with his tech, get 47% on. Just straight through out a grenade at him. Oh, another oh, one. one. <laughs> nice snipe coming in from Tonic, though. Just You want to do it again? Oh, no, you cannot dash grab or dash attack <laughs> the splatter shot. So, like, why? <laughs> that's, that's a that's day one being, stuff. That's too stubborn. <laughs> like, like, there was no reason for him to get fully inked right there. I, I have to hit him. I have to hit him. All right. Waiting him out, but Tonic is at his basic last hit because Peach's kill power is insane. Especially with how strong that fair is. <laughs> okay, throw out the double counter. Counter. And uh, Tonic actually looking pretty clean right now. Waiting him out. Oh, oh, and the get-up attack just gets baited out by the float, just in and out, in and out, weaving right where Tonic thinks he can hit it, but Daisy able to just scoot back and then get the back and kill him. Mm -hmm. and that's kind of uh, one of the name of the games with that character, just how effective she is at kind of baiting out moves, being able to weave in and out with the float. All right. Game number two, Tonic was looking pretty all right, like that game one. Yeah. I just felt like you, you, ha just you can't have your standard game plan against Peach mm -hmm. or Daisy. Yeah. All right. Ooh. Nice. Goes for the fair after the narrow. I've 60% already. Yeah. Oh, oh my roller, gosh. That's a forward smash. Doesn't get the oh. sweet spot that actually could have been the stock. That would have been a great zero to death. Yeah, definitely the way 
uh, excuse me, definitely the way Tonic wants to start off up throw up air. No. Not going to connect again, just not able to chase down the DI. Yeah. Oh, wow. That was a great, that was a great uh, ledge trap. Yeah, and Tonic looking super good on game two here. Mm-hmm. And Snatchkill just gave him the sauce. Got the reverse hitbox up the splat bomb. Now he's waiting him out. I like the rapid jab. Kind of weave. It's Inkling's m movement is that so hit? strong. I hate that did hit. Ooh. Oh, Turn no, up that's hand. Oh, he's out there. He could actually get an edge guard right now. Nah, he's okay. Mm -hmm. Nice recovery coming up from Solex. That was a really scary, like really sketchy, like position because he wasn't high enough where he could have done the up B, yeah. and he was too, uh, like he was too low to like just snap the ledge with an Perfect air dodge. Perfect timing from Solex. There just avoids the get up, or avoids the bomb on his get up. Doesn't roll into the forward smash. Mm. That was a stock opportunity for Tonic with an up air. Ooh. All right. Oh, so much pressure and the read with the up air. From Ooh, the jump away. Backer, DI not there. The DI was not there at all. Back throw. Is he dead? No. No rage. Ooh. Trying to go way out there with the fair. Bit of a panic option coming up from Solex. Oh. Okay, that could be big damage, but no. Tonic able to find his way out of that situation, but he's still on the ledge here against Solex. Not the best position to be in. Mm-hmm. Fortal didn't actually connect, got parried. Oh, that that reached a little. Uh, that was a little out there on that parasol. <laughs> I wouldn't have expected to get hit by that either. Yeah, I'm right there. That's another situation where you just think you're going to be able to roll or peach, but they're floating just off the ground, mm -hmm. able to smack you with fair, and they aren't even in danger of getting roller. Mm -hmm. Back throw. Is that death? Yeah. Yes, it is. Nice, uh, nice awareness coming up from Tonic. Yeah, Tonic's really good at just finding these back throws. And okay, I thought Solex has deed. <laughs> Actually, Bear coming in. Oh, he got the Z drop, but didn't really follow up on it. And now uh, Solex is in a really good position right now to get the revenge stock. Nice, yeah. got the got the neutral get up. And now it's pretty looking pretty even. Ooh. I, oh. That's gonna be big damage for Tonic. He goes for the nair again. I feel like I'd like to see just a second up air. Yeah. I, I, I feel like you're going a little too greedy with your combo. Like, the second up air is guaranteed and then you can go for the nair afterwards. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just gonna be more damage. Yeah. Ooh. But there's the nair. Solex. Trying to find his way in. But nice nair getting him away. Yeah, and Tonic's just getting a little greedy. Up throw. Booyah? No, he nope. doesn't get it. Forward throw, getting him off stage. This is a really bad position. Ooh, what a pivot grab. Oh, that's not true. Oh, that was aggressive as well. Both is kind of flubbing on the last stock here. DBC. Oh, yeah, you can't punish that with a grab. That move is that move is uh, very safe. Flow cancel bear is one of the safest moves in the entire game. Yeah. 